Teacher, leave them kids alone. All in all, it's just another brick in the wall. All in all, you're just another brick in the wall. Hello everybody, my name is Johnny Fireflame, and welcome to my next reaction of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic episode, wait, season 5. That was a smooth intro. <laughs> so if you're wondering what I just sang there, it is called Another Brig in the Wall by Pink Floyd, suggested by Dear Mother of Mine, uh, because, as you've noted recently, I've begun making more and more weird intro things. And... This one was, the title for this episode, uh, of course, always, depending on what kind of title the upcoming thing is, and the, the title of this episode we're seeing here today is called Amending Fences. Now, I have been analyzing a lot in my school time. Actually, it was actually the one exam in school I did best where I had to analyze the text. But, <clears throat> symbolism and all that, I love symbolism and metaphors. Seriously, I love them. But, um, amending fences, then the, f the first thought that comes into my head when I hear that is someone building up a fence. But not in a literal sense, of course, but in a sense of keeping themselves out for something, or like making their own limits, like, I do not want to go any further than this. For example, in my case, I cannot go to parties. That is my fence, because I don't really feel like I fit well at parties, like... I, okay, let me put it this way. I'm the kind, of, I'm the type of guy at parties who stands either in the in the uh, in the corner of the house or sits on a couch with a can of beer I haven't even drunk of yet. I'm that kind of guy. So my limits are like going to parties because I just don't feel like I fit. If that's if that if that makes any sense. And the and because this episode is called amending fences, then I wonder who is going to be the focus of it. Um. Because no matter who it is, there apparently are boundaries. Uh, there are these um, fences which they do not want to cross. Which uh, the Pink Floyd song I sang before is actually about breaking down that wall. You, you're just another brick in the wall, which means like a, you're just another thing that keeps me from being me. But then again, that song is more about others building a wall while the title of this episode indicates that you build the wall yourself. So yeah, I wonder who's going to break down the wall. I th I would imagine Fluttershy, because she's of course the most socially awkward and all that stuff. But that would be what I normally would guess, but sadly I have been kind of spoiled because I help, because I am subscribed to a lot of reactors and I saw that Twilight is in the thing, so... Oh dear, yeah. I try to keep away from spoilers, I promise you, but sometimes a few small things slip through. So Twilight, kind of, what kind of boundaries would she uh, have to break down? What if, what would she have to build up the fence for? I don't, I'm not sure, but let us try and see. If you're all ready, my dear friends, let us hope that we break down the wall this episode as we jump right into My Little Pony. Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode 12. I hope I got that right. Yes, I got that right. It, uh, amending Fences. 3, 2, 1, go. Hello, Twilight. What are you reading today? <sighs> you know the worst thing about you being the princess of friendship? The dishes. Thanks for taking care of that, Spike. After three events in one week, I really needed to relax with a good Do they seriously have no personnel? It's kind of funny, isn't it? All these ponies coming to you for advice about friendship. What's funny about that? You know, because you used to be famous for being such a bad friend. Oh. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, at the, at the, good friends in at the beginning. Come on, Twilight. Look at the wall. Do you see any photos from before we moved to Ponyville? That is actually a very and good point. Is that a selfie friendship? taken by Spike? Are you serious? <gasps> this is a disaster. But that is actually true. I remember no the first place. episodes. She kept right now. putting off but things really because she had to read. A bad friend? What? Well, I only meant that you've come so far. Well, you're a great friend now, and oh, I feel terrible. Oh dear, Spike. Gotta make it up to them. Pack a bag, Spike. We're going to Canterlot. Okay then. And make a list of my friends' names. Okay. Me and my big mouth. 
You had good intentions, Spike, but it kind of backfired on ya. Okay, as I said, at the beginning of the show, in the first, very first episode, in fact, we saw that while she lived in Kesnot, she knew some ponies, but she never went to do anything with them because she had to go reading. I even remember the lines when it said like, um, do you think that pony does anything except study? I think she is more interesting than friends. I think that's good of a good, uh, two of good imitation. But anyway, I, who is this defense? She is going to break down. Interesting. Let us find out. Ah, uh, yes, you're flying! Why am I talking about that? You're getting worked up about nothing. You brought it up, Spike. The only logical place to start is at the beginning. Is that the tower you used to live in? Emma Larson! Good sign already. And Twilight already is an alicorn, so unless he wants to give all the cats up. Wait, no one has taken over? <sighs> Even the book! Look, it's predictions and prophecies, and it's still open to the elements of heart. Yeah! That is kind of a cool callback. And here's that present I was going to give Moondancer. Oh, yeah. Mm, guess she won't be needing that. <laughs> hey, look! The rest of it's still here! Wow. How could I have let this happen? Come on, Twilight. Princess Celestia gave you an assignment. No pony could blame you for that. But look at the way I left this place. It's a total mess. I'm just surprised no one's actually taken over. No one is clean. Like Does no one supervise this place? I've got to make it up to. Who? Oh, uh, Minuet, Twinkle Shine, Lemon Hearts, Lyra Heartstrings, and. Lyra! <laughs> Why am I suddenly excited about that? I know that Master Neutral will be very excited about that. We've got work to do. I've got friends to befriend. Have you been awake all night? I did a little research, and I think I know where we can find Minuet. That is one of my friends, right? Yeah. <laughs> no comment about that. Uh, so she's... It's not too late to forget I opened my big mouth. Oh, Spike, I'm glad you opened your big mouth. These ponies have probably been suffering ever since I left, wondering why their supposed friend would treat them so badly. That That is a reasonable thing to think, but I doubt it. Um... Twilight Sparkle! Colgate! <laughs> you old so-and-so! What are you doing here? Hey, Spike! Look at these wings, huh? <laughs> hey, grab a picture of me and the princess, will ya? I tried to tell my co-workers we used to be friends back when, <laughs> but they've never believed me. Hi, Colgate! Nice to see you, too! And they have cameras in Equestria. I am not sure why I'm so surprised about that, because they have used cameras before. But what?! So what are you doing here? I mean, I know you're here all the time, but you never come to see me. Hey! I just had the greatest... Slow down! Let her talk! You're worse than Pinky! Of course! My old friends! It'll be great! <laughs> Come on, let's fly! Get it? <laughs> this is she perfect. is... I can apologize to all I just three realized of all about... Why are everything about her house shaped like an hourglass? Is she really a Time Lord? Is that what you're trying to tell us, DHX? Like, I, I would like it, but... Not everything seems to be going well! She did! Twinkle Shine literally spit out her oats when she heard you were the Princess of Friendship! Oh, we saw you at the coronation. That was some shindig! You did? Shindig? Sure! Oh, we see you all the time! You remember our old friend Lyra, right? <laughs> she lives in Ponyville, too. We're always. I don't know why I get her. chills of happiness every time I hear here. that name being uttered in the show. We've thought about asking you to join us from time to time, but we just sort of figured you'd moved on. Oh. Hmm. So, what brings you by anyway? All those times you've come back to Canterlot, you've never had donuts with us before. Well, uh, you see. I came to apologize. For what? Before I left Canterlot, I didn't really appreciate my friends. And that's because I didn't know how important friendship was. But I've learned so much since I moved to Ponyville. I learned what it means to be a good friend. And that I certainly wasn't one to the three of you. So for all the pain I caused you, I am truly sorry. Aww. 
It's such a good moment! <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Come on, Twilight! Sure, it might have stung a little bit when you ran off to Ponyville without saying goodbye, but it's not like we weren't used to that from you. Yeah, we didn't take it personally, but it's really good to see you now. Hey, Aww, any I like these for a three. Blast from the past? I like these three. Like, they're good friends. It's our old science lab. I have so many great memories of this place. <laughs> Remember when Lemon Heart got her head stuck in that beaker? <laughs> Not those kind of memories, I guess. <laughs> but according to this book, you're supposed to add the sodium chloride. Oh my heart! I read it. Oh my if goodness, and that's a Twilight sandwich, Recall. What? You need to add the molasses first. Well, I read ahead two moons. Oh my goodness, and Twilight. I read it said sodium Twilight. First. Oh my god, my heart. Oh, I've got the wrong book. That's so hilarious. Thank you, Twilight Mods, for that comment. <laughs> but oh my god, she's adorable. <laughs> You know, our other friend. Oh, right. Moon Dancer. I remember her. I wonder what she's up to. Yeah, I always liked her. We just sort of lost touch after you left. I think she went to live out by the stadium, didn't she? Well, let's go see. Oh, Lisa. Oh, my God. I think this is the place. Didn't used to look like this, though. I like these three, like, I believe, I, as far as I remember, any other kind of show, they would have been bitch friends, but here they are, kind of good friends, oh my goodness. Hey! <gasps> Hello. Hi, welcome to Vandalize My House. Moon Dancer? What do you want? I'm trying to study. It's us, your old friends. Ugh. Sorry, the friendship backed up didn't, didn't really That's work. That's old Moon Dancer, all right. She always did like her books. Hey, kind of like you used to be, huh? Yeah. Exactly. How oh, I Moonlight is like the thing that could be. She is what Twilight could have been if Celestia didn't send her that assignment. And oh my God, that outfit. Oh, she is the one with the fences. <laughs> Come on, Twilight. We've been watching her for three days. Library house. Library house. That's it. No pony looks at her or says hello or even gives her a smile. It's like she doesn't even exist. Was she always like this? Well, she always was a little shy. I love your glasses, by the way, Colgate. Really starting to come out of her I shell. keep calling her Colgate because I forgot her name. Party? Sorry. Oh, right. I think you might have been busy that day. Oh, it's the... There you are, Twilight. Moon Dancer is having a little. Oh my God! It's exactly the, the same. You want to come? Oh, sorry, girls. I got it's like a they took, lot of studying to catch up. It's like on. they took the clip from the first episode and just put it in. Oh my God! Season one quality of animation. Unless my well, eyes are completely gone. And... With that party, we invited her out a few times after that, but she was always too busy studying. So eventually, we just stopped asking. I had no idea that party was so important to her. I've got to find a way to make it up to her. In retrospect, instead of saying, You're friends! You could have said, Me from long ago who ditched you! Sorry about that, by the way. It's just... Could have had another kind of approach. I guess. <gasps> oh my god! Moon Dancer? Is that? Shh. Just say hello. You don't have to be all. Oh my gosh! Moon Dancer, can I talk to you for a minute? Shh. <laughs> is this? Eh, a bubble of silence. I haven't seen you in a while, and I thought it might be nice to catch up. For what purpose? You know, because we're friends. Shh. Well, we have found the pony version of Spock. I'm really sorry to bother you. I was just hoping we could go outside and talk for a bit. She obviously doesn't want anything. 
Wow, late. Oh, Jesus! That? Why won't you leave me alone? I'm trying to study. You've got the wrong pony. I don't have parties. You did once, and I was that so is... caught up in my own. How do you do that? To take your feelings into account. Look, Twilight, Twinkle, Sparkle, whatever. I just need to be alone so I can. Study. I got it. Some crazy pony. I'll explain it afterwards. Friends. All right. Fine. Wait. How did you get into my book like that? Tom Riddle magic. I've been studying a new study. Oh, yo, yeah. oh yeah, she's like to talk about magic and stuff. But you'd be amazed how much you can pick up when you're actually in a book. That's one of Haycart's methods. You know Haycart? Of course. Haycart. He's a genius. I have a copy of his treaties on And now they're nerding out, as I expected. What is this place? This is where I used to live. You mean, I never had you over? Wow, a first edition of Principles of Magic. Hey, didn't I give this to you? Oh. Maybe. Haven't we always Look, been in I that situation? <laughs> to my friend, Actually, I never returned Sparkle. that movie. Thanks for introducing anyway. me to the classics. I can see by the fact that you liked it here that it meant a lot to you. Look, I didn't bring you over here for even more poignant reminders of what a bad friend I was. I brought you here to give you this. What's that? You can come here whenever you want and study to your heart's content. Really? But first, you've got to do something for me. Oh, that was what? adorable. Have dinner with our old friends tonight. I can't. I'm reorganizing my biology schools. I've been spending a lot of time with Minuet, Twinkle Shine, and Lemon Heart since I've been back. They Minty? really Was miss you. Look, I already told you. The last thing I need is a bunch of ridiculous friend making keeping me from studying. Uh, having flashbacks, white. Twilight? A wise pony once taught me that there's more to life than dusty old books. I tried friendship, and it's just not for me. Now, if you'll excuse me. That sounds a lot like me. Not what in the same sense, but I just with. You method. Okay, that hit a, a bit deep. So, huh. uh, what are you studying these days? Science, magic, history, economics, pottery, things like that. Pottery? Yes, uh, <laughs> How can you study pottery? <laughs> like, except making it. No. So, you're just studying? Can I go now? <sighs> Moon Dancer, please. God, this is it's so related to me! We're having a good time. Right, every pony? I'd like that they're at least trying. That is the best part of it all. Oh, uh, Spike, tell Moon Dancer that story about how Twilight had to read a book about doing the sleepover. <gasps> Slumber 101? I've read that. Oh, <laughs> really? Well, uh, uh did I you know Lemonheart's here works at the Canterlot Palace? Uh, yeah, it's true. I do the big events mostly, stay dinners, that sort of thing. It's cool. They all have all the little things. <laughs> Is this where they say oh. awkward? Moon dancer. I I like those two people. Like, oh chance. shit! Where did she come from? I gave friendship a chance a long time ago. It didn't work out then. It isn't gonna work out now. Twilight, are you all right? No. She is the princess no, of friendship, and she can't even make friendship. That's gotta cut where deep. Where are you going? I don't know, Spike. I really messed this one up. That party was everything to her. I can only imagine what it must have felt like when I didn't show up. Hey, Moon Dancer! Look at this spread, huh? Thank you so much for coming. Of course. We wouldn't miss one of our best friend's parties. Is Twilight coming? Aww. Um, how can we say this? Oh, okay. Hey, we'll still have fun, right? <laughs> sure. Aww, that's one of the worst things ever. Oh, God. Why is if there was only a way Wait, was that... Li damage. Did she literally see that? Can and she no look through it. time? And I know just who can help me. Sorry, I just missed something. What? The, can she literally look through time? Oh my god! Oh, she did use time magic some time ago, so... Huh. Guess they must have gone back to Ponyville. Huh? <laughs> Hello, Piggy! 
Black Hawk down, Pinky Hawk down, Pony Hawk down! But not to throw in the towel. I went to get my secret weapon. Minuet, meet. Hey, Pinkie Pie! Hi, Minuet! Minuet. Twilight. Can't get the reference there. Say Minuet would be here. They know each other? You two know each other? Oh, sure. She was one of Cadence's bridesmaids. We oh, that was right! In Ponyville. Didn't you know that? Huh? And you call yourself the Princess of Friendship. Pinkie! Twilight briefed me on the way here. We'll need 15 bags of confetti and as many hooks as we can get. Let's go! We can pass by the door <laughs> on the way. I love this! And what are we gonna do? Just come with me. I really like this episode so far. Notice this smile hasn't come off about 20 minutes? Or however how long it's been. Ooh, a brief history of the wagon harness. They have literally made up breadcrumbs of books. The life and times of Marwari the Mainless. I love of neighbor. <laughs> I'm loving this. The breadcrumbs. Oh, the book. Books. Oh, the crap's all the books. And you drop them. What is this? It's a party for you. Come on in. A thanks, but no thanks. I don't do parties. Ugh. You, you don't have to. You don't I'm have not. to destroy the hat. And I think it's my fault. Back when we were in school together, you invited me to a party. I was so focused on my studies that I didn't show up. Big deal. It was a big deal. Exactly. And now that I realize how important friendship is, I'd like to make up for my mistake with a new party. A party it even a has a moon dancer. I forgot Please, what it's called, but this thing you bash and the candy comes out. And you think this is gonna do it, huh? Uh, yes. Moon dancer sure. is this Why? amazing thing called? That was only the first time I ever uh. put myself out there, and then you didn't even bother to show up. Oh. Then you left town without saying goodbye, even though we were supposed to be friends. I was humiliated. I felt like I wasn't important. I never wanted to let myself be hurt like that again. She has the one with the fences. That finally convinced me that I had value. The other ponies might like me and want to be my friend. And you didn't show up! <laughs> Holy crap. You're right. This party can't make up for the way I hurt you. But please, don't let my mistake be the reason you can't be friends with any pony else. Princess we were your my... friends then, and we'd be honored to be your friends now. Yep. Yeah, think about it. You're the one who pushed them away. Come on, open up. Destroy the fence. What? More people. It's the librarian. The bookseller. My sister! You've got a lot of friends, Moon Dancer. Ah! It's a boy! Sorry, Moon Dancer. I've faced magical creatures, the end of Equestria, all sorts of things. But seeing how my actions affected you, that was one of the worst feelings I've ever had. I can imagine. Thank you, Twilight. I never realized how much I needed to hear that. Give the hug. Give the hug. Hugs. Hugs are always good. Yay! Ah, stuff feels now, so good inside. Come on, every pony. Let's party. Let's party. Woo! Right. No party without the party cannon, of course. <laughs> Such a feel-good episode. I love it. Yay! Tales under Celestia! I think it's time for us to go, Moon Dancer. Thank you for helping me make some new friends. Even if they are my old friends. Oh. We'll come back and visit soon. That would be great! You still gotta teach me that hay cart technique. Deal. Um, Moon Dancer? It got kinda banged up, but here's a little something I wanted to give you back at your first party. Aww. Aww. I'm so adorable! 
And that's football? <laughs> Alrighty then! State my feelings about this episode. I think it's one of the best episodes this entire season so far, if not the entire show. Like, I'm close to say top five. Oh god, that was good! I'm all tinkly! Mm, that was such a good episode! I really loved it! Oh my god. M.A. Larson. Oh my god, if Slice of Life didn't already make up for for the freaking controversy of the Twilicorn, this makes it non-existent. Oh my god, this was just amazing. This was a great episode. And one of the best things about this episode is he avoided so many potential cliches. So many ways that he could have gone completely out of hay. But no, every character is likable. The three friends, they could have been like, uh, she has sex to her book, we don't care about her. They could have been bitches. But no, they were sensible ponies who were willing to give the Moondancer a chance. Oh god. This was just a feel-good episode all the way through. All the way through. Oh my god, this... I can't actually think of any major problems with it. Not even any nitpicks. As far as I as far as I think about it right now, it was so good. Oh my god. Oh, the chills have gone away, but my heart is still loving it all the way. Oh my god. Mm, okay. Okay. I can see, uh, okay, a, a nitpick I can imagine people come up with is that Twilight tries too hard. Actually, many would maybe reference, um, a friend indeed in, uh, when it comes to how much Twilight twi tries to make Moondancer her friend. But both sides of the situation make sense. We know why Twilight tries, and we know why the Moondancer rejected her all this time. Like, it's both, it both makes sense. Twilight, of course, being the friend, the princess of freaking friendship, she is supposed to know all about friendship, be kind of an expert in it. <sighs> but, but seeing that she can't get into contact with one single pony, especially one she neglected so many years ago, much have, must have been like devastating for her. Like in Pinky, it was just, it was just Pinky being Pinky. Uh, trying to be friends with everyone she knows. But here it was like, um... Of course Twilight feels bad about neglecting these old friends in the past so much and she wants to make amends to them, like wants to... Break down the fence! God, I'm good at predicting! Um... A moon dancer is a very sympathetic character. Like, Twilight was, as far as I was shown, Twilight was the only one she could do nerds talk with. Uh, she was the only one who, um, who, 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 she, who she could really talk about with things. And when Twilight didn't show up to the biggest part of her life and left without saying goodbye, it's just, it hurt her so deeply. It makes sense that she has built this fence around her, that she's trying to keep herself away because she doesn't want to risk being hurt again. It all makes sense. It's it's so relatable. It's so relatable. Like, I am sure that everyone watching this episode has some elements in this episode that they relate to. Like, I was in... I have been in that uh, situation. I have tried that. It's just... Everything works in this episode. That's maybe what, what is the best thing about it. That it all works so well. Oh, my goodness. 
Uh, and the, uh, uh, the inclusion of Pinky may have seemed out of nowhere, but I don't care, it works! And she gave some good laughs and what the hell moments! Oh god. And for those of you who don't under understood what I said about the Twilight Twinkle thing, it's because if I remember correctly, in production, her name was going to be Twilight Twinkle. If I remember correctly. Be free to correct me if I'm wrong about that. My rating for amending fences. How could it be anything else but a Fallout 10 out of 10? Or, some, or uh, in the way I've always wanted to say it, it's 10 out of 10! <laughs> so anyway guys, um, please leave your com uh, leave your opinions in the description uh, below. Tell me what you think about the uh, the episode. Tell me what you think about my reaction, so I can improve, become a better entertainer for you guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Bijani Fireflame, and I'll see you guys next time.